Hey guys, welcome back to Fae Hunter's run of Cave Factory. Last stream, we fucked up colossally. We blew up, well, a creeper blew up our spawner right back there. So, we have switched over from blood magic over to Britannia. So, we're going to get into that today. <clears throat> so, our magic basin is just here. But we also have our pure white daisy inside here. In the middle of all of this living rock. That daisy will continue to convert things into living wood or living rock respectively. If we keep on putting it around. But for now we're going to collect this up and complete our two quests we've just finished. Uh, which were living wood. Which gives us a mana spread off. Which I have no clue what that does. And living rock which gives us a mana pool. We need to finish off mana generation, but we've also just gotten the one in the forest quest. Alright, so for this we need living wood twigs, which two pieces of living wood gives us a twig. So we'll need to make more living wood. Uh, we'll start that straight away. Oops, too far. Three and four. Also get this stone going into living stone because I assume we're going to need more of it soon as well. We should probably also get an axe because this is going to run out of materials fairly quickly. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, stow that. Grab some six. We'll also start off by making ourselves some more some living wood twigs gold would be great but we just don't have enough of it and it, it breaks too easily honestly what we might do actually we do not have enough all right so what we're going to do is we're going to get some iron which we should have some over this way Around somewhere. I swear we had some left at the end of this. There we go. We're going to get some iron. Uh, we're going to get rid of this. So we can just make it the normal way, can't we? Yes. Cool. We are, however, going to make ourselves a small axe head with some stone. I guess it can't. Well, it doesn't work with limestone. Uh, we will make ourselves some of that uh, right now because we're going to start making tools out of. God damn it! We're going to start making tools out of the resources out of the metals that aren't base so we'll start making some copper tools and some nickel and some tin hopefully get some stuff that's a little bit i want to say not as shit uh, we'll start loading this up into here and now that this is all ready we can knock out the living rock and all of this living wood. And then we will make a wand. So we also need to find our... Uh, our petals. Wherever I ended up putting them. I really need to start organising metal. Really do. All right. <clears throat> Start smelting everything we've got. All of the metals we've got at the very least. What does the mana spread do? I don't believe it actually does. We can make a pulse mana spread off. Or a red string spoofer. Which that's a that's a thing. Alright, so we've melted down some more iron. Actually, no. We need to use up all of the iron we've got. We're also going to need to make a ingot mold. 
we're going to need to empty this out first. Which means we're going to drain everything we can out of it. In fact, it was probably a dumb idea to do this. I probably should have just left as is. But I never said I was the smartest person in the world, so here we go. Alright, so we've got eight ingots left. And we're going to knock this thing out. For the sheer fact, I need gold in there. Oh, crap. We also need it facing the right way, so... There we go. Mostly for my own pedanticness. We'll knock out the bamboo so we can make some sticks out of it. Just to have an, a little bit of a free fuel source. Nope, not what I meant. Uh, then we just need to start melting down everything, I suppose. Right, that's going to take a lot more than what we've got. That'll look. Chuck all of our sticks in. These will start smelting down again. So now we need... Does it need specific one? No. Any will do. So we'll just take some uh, orange because we have a ridiculous amount of orange petals. Then we can construct ourselves our first wand. The wand of the forest giving us an open crate. Now, we need either the Ender Flame or the Thermal Lily. We don't have access to lava, so we're going to make the Ender Flame, which is two brown, one grey, one red. Uh, sorry, light grey, which of course is the only one of the only few kinds of flowers we do not have. So we're going to have to do this the unfortunate way. And we are going to need to start finding ourselves some more road meal. Because for this we need to do what we were doing before and just make a bunch of... Uh, uh, the fertilizer. We need to make a bunch of floral fertilizer. So, to start with, we only need one red flower, so we'll break that down. And I swear I just grabbed a different. There we go. I feel like that's not what we wanted. Right. Uh, but, chuck that in, chuck this in. Try and get some light grey. That's pink, that's green. We got a tall mystical black. Alright, yellow. Purple, red, yellow. Nope. Okay. We can on the plus side. Rather than trying to get bones for bone meal every time, we can just chuck a bunch of stuff into the composter until we get more bone meal out of it. <clears throat> uh, and potatoes. That's two pieces. That's three pieces at least. Which isn't great, but it's a start. Nope. Right. So we need more dye. We'll take yellow this time. Break it all down. Break it into dyes. 
and so that we can just get these out of the way. Okay. Yellow, yellow, white. Hey, next one. Brown and blues. Also chuck some of these through. Extra potatoes through. Because we are now out of... Well, we've got one piece of bone meal left. Which is not enough. In the meantime, we will chuck this... We'll mine out one more. And then chuck this next to the basin. Chop that there. Right. What's next? What's next? We've got some more stuff we can chuck through at least. Right. Um, yeah. Can I chuck flowers in? No. That's unfortunate. Okay, so we need to find a way to get these plants to grow a little bit faster, because unfortunately twerking doesn't work in this mod pack. And I don't think we can compost bamboo. Unfortunately. Okay. So next up, so that we can get that. So that we can get any nuggets that we gain out of here, we're going to make a nugget mold. Which we're going to need to make another chest just to store all these molds soon. Actually, probably now, rather than later. Nope. On. Um, also, make an axe head. Right. And. We'll also grab out the gold ore. And all of the bamboo that we've got lying around. And we have some more flower fertilizer. That's mean. So all of the gold we've got is going straight into that smelter. So we've got a decent chunk of sticks in there, but we will make as many more as we can. Because we're going to make a mold of everything. Wait, can we run and grow? I swear I just saw sparkling. Yes, we can run and grow. We need to just need to make a long track for this. Right. I'm not playing around. Light gray. Cool. That's exactly what we need. So now we need to get us a brown flower, or a pair of brown petals, as well as one light grey. And we also need some water, which we did get an item that gives us an infinite water source, but it uses our very small supply of blood magic, and I'd rather not waste that. Right, and one of these. Now we just need to get some wheat seeds, which we immediately have available. Right. 
now we have our flower ready to go. Giving us a Monoseer Monocle. What does that do? Alright, open up the charms. Oh, that's a botany charm. I definitely want to keep that on. And inner arts gives us bonuses trinkets. Alright, we're going to need to get one piece of dirt. It's the only way we currently have to get dirt is transforming uh, granite. It's not much, but really at this point, every piece counts. So I already have some dirt. We will smash this out. And then we just need some water. Which we will probably make another infinite water supply over the other side of the room just to stop me from having to run back and forth. So realistically we should probably have set this stuff up on the other side. Oh, nope, that doesn't take water. Right. I have no idea what's going on. Right, um, all right. That doesn't really tell me very much. Uh, what about this? The OR filter. So diamonds or ender pearls or iron. I can get into the monopole to change it into the Batania version. Alright, so we're going to put this out. We're going to need some coal. Hopefully charcoal will work as well. Uh, so, actually we've got a piece of coal right here. Did not need to drop that. I have no idea how I meant to use this to collect mana for that. Placing logs around the pure daisy. Stone. So I meant to do that to this. But it has no mana in it. <coughs> I doubt that just throwing this in is going to do very much right now. It's frustrating. Hey, we can actually see the bit of mana that's putting out now, too. That's cool. Uh, so we'll just transfer this in to feed this. Cool. I'm guessing that's for the food section. We're always going to need more of this. It does not seem to be anything spawning yet, which is very unfortunate. Alright, so in the meantime, we need to make gold versions of everything. Which means that the best way to do that is to have stone versions of everything, or wooden versions of everything. So if we can get ourselves a wooden version of as many things as possible or a stone version of as many things as possible then we can start building out we're also just going to grab this so we can get some more coal 
Uh, that can go back to the top of there. Alright, so. We can take this blade and put it in. We're going to collect up a bunch of pebbles so that we can make some more. Uh, so we can make some more. There we go. So we make some more wood. Got it out there eventually. The wood we get, we can use to make some more chests because we are definitely lacking in the storage over this side at the moment. Uh, and because of the suggestion we were given on the last video that came, that re was released as of the time of this recording, we're actually going to make a conversion pit. I don't know if this is what uh, Miss Leah had in mind, but this is what came to my mind when she said it. So, conversion pit. Which sounds terrible now that I'm saying it out loud. Right. So we got two more coal to add to this as well. That'll do. Alright. <clears throat> Next thing up. We need to work out how the hell this thing works. Maybe there's a note for it. So we need some kind of water. Or to find a way to fill it up with mana. Which maybe if we had this at a higher elevation it would work. Like have it flowing down or something. We should also have the ability to fill it up with coal. Or to give it coal in some way. Everything else in this mod pack, you just throw it on. But the endo flame, which is meant to be powered by uh, coal, doesn't seem to work like that. We'll go and grab this wood and make ourselves some chests in the meantime. Store all this crap here. So my other thought is maybe I'm missing something for this. Like, maybe I'm meant to use one of the items that I picked up from the achievements for this. Like, honestly, the mana spreader sounds like I should probably have it underneath it. Now, do I put you on top of it or in it? Or does just next to it work? Hey, there we go. Right, cool. So we're actually going to just knock this crap out. So we can put it all back where it was originally which will require this to be right here and this to be here i hope that that's how that works but on the plus side 
We had that burning. Emphasis on the had at this point. Maybe it burns things that are beneath it. No, not what I what not what I where I put that. Go. Hopefully that will collect into there. In the meantime, collect up some more cactus. All right, uh, we need some other parts. So what we can do to collect some more parts, we can break down our bamboo again. Start running around a bit more. That will make it grow. <coughs> Make six, chuck six in here. Then we need a, we've got an axe head, we've got a small blade. We need a tool handle. And we need to make more of those. In the meantime, tool handle can go in here. We can let some gold out. We've got one more mold. Mana does not seem to be spreading out from this, which is unfortunate. So, next thought is we got this wand around here somewhere. See if I can find where I put the thing. There we are. Wand of the forest. Which should let us. Ooh, nifty. All right, maybe I should try putting the this on top of this now that we can see that. There we go. Now we're cooking with fire. All right, so now we need a diamond or a bar of iron. We have iron. That works. We need this to collect up some more mana, which means we need to throw out some more coal. So this should now be putting out mana into the mana pool above it. This is great. Love it. <clears throat> Alright, we can collect up some more resources in here. More berries. Nope, oh, we're out of space. Alright. We have a bunch of rocks again. We'll let out everything we've got. Alright, take that. Alright. So, periodically, we're going to come back and see if we've got enough to do that yet. We're also going to need more coal, or more charcoal, specifically. So, we're going to need more wood. So, that's the next thing up. What's that? Uh, we'll put this into here. That. Torch it. Grab those out. Put them too. As soon as they're done, we start torching with our clocks. Sorry, we start torching the or torching the os uh, torching the logs with that. We finally have a mana seal like it. Which gives us another completed quest and a mana, a band of mana, which unlocks the lapis lazuli block to get spark. All right. So first thing we need is a block of lapis and some obsidian, which we still don't have a lot to get. That's going to be very difficult. 
Alright, what about this one then? Brilliant Colton, Mana Pearl, Diamond, or Diamond, and 5 Living Rock. So we'll just smash out this Diamond. Wait till we've collected enough mana, which we're going to need more fuel to do so. Alright, Band of Gluttony. Sorry, Charm of Gluttony. Gluttony Charm? Something like that. <clears throat> we have all this extra wood. Give us enough. Burn through. Actually, we're going to take this with us. To about here, because even with travel time, this is still going to be a lot quicker. Alright. We can leave that there. Make us some blocks, which will go for a lot further. Got enough for two more blocks as well. Five lines. Beautiful. Right. That's got one of those burning. And honestly, I think they'll burn for so long that it would have run out of mana by the time it's done. Sorry, it would have disappeared by the time it summoned the first one. And if not the first one, then definitely the second. Um, yep, we're good for that. Got the seed berries in too. So, we need a way to get lava. I don't think there is a way in any to get lava. We need a lava sigil to do it. But we don't have the blood to do it anymore. If we had a blaze burner, we'd be able to do it. But not with what we have right now. Can we sacrifice that five life? No, we cannot. That is most unfortunate. Actually, I'm pretty sure I can hurt myself to fill this thing up. Uh, we just need to find the right book. Because we have a book that tells us all these things somewhere. Realistically, we should just collect up all of our books, but I'm not very organized. If you haven't realized that by this point. So, we need the... We'll take... We'll start collecting books. Chuck them all on the other side of the room. Uh, in this chest. But this is actually the book we need. So, to collect blood for the blood altars. Alright. Uh, yep. We can collect that way. Okay. So if we look at the air. God damn it. If we look at the air while near a blood altar, we should be able to just cut our souls. Is that not what it says? Pressing right button while aiming the air with an knife, you extract two on your bite. Yeah. So I should be able to just do this. Like this is a dagger of sacrificing. How do I make a sacrificial knife? The basic bitch equivalent. We need glass, gold, and iron. That's our problem. We were using the advanced version. We need the basic bitch version. So we got iron, we got gold, we just need to find some glass, which I should... Yep, there we go. Alright, so... 
gold iron gloss So that gives us a little bit of blood in there, which means that now we are going to be completely sustaining that by my own blood. Which is not going to be the easiest thing in the world to do. Especially considering every time I do that, that takes a lot of help on me. Especially considering we got 1880 for that. We never do that when we have less than a heart and a half, preferably two, and we should be using cooked potatoes for this at this point, we got enough now, nope, we'll also get this out of the way by equipping it, because it is a ring, and just stowing whatever we can, we'll take our books and put them into the chest we were just talking about as well. And this shouldn't be in here. Materials in you. Right, slowly expanding what we've got going. So we've got some create going, we've got some blood magic going. Once again, we have some Batania going. Great. Uh, we'll take that. The other great thing is that we can, if we can grow potatoes, which we can rather easily, they can give us a lot more hearts back than just carrots will. So we'll grab out all of this bone meal we've got here and start spam growing potatoes because we can cook the potatoes and bake potatoes give us a lot of food. Alright, so now we have 28, 2800. Is a hell of a lot better than we did. We need a bake spud. That's going to make this a lot quicker. We got enough now? Yes, we do. So now what we need to do for this quest is... No, not that one, this one. We need five living rock and then our diamond... Where did I put my living rock? Seriously, I need to be more... I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing. Uh, so, five living rock, one mana diamond, and we get a runic gold which can also go over here. That looks fucking dope. <clears throat> we have a rod of the shifting crust and a choice reward. I did not want to just grab one. I wanted to see what they did. Yay. Alright. Uh, we should have some more potatoes finished cooking. Yep, yeah, cool. Alright. Um, so the next quest on that line is either terrestrial agglomeration plate, which requires us to make a couple of things, or the Batania. Botanical Brewery, which will give us some elf glass flasks. Oof, that's going to take a lot of stuff. Right, in the meantime, we will chuck another block of this out so that that can burn and give us some more mana. We will eat another spud. And get some more blood. I do not know what this does.
I'm guessing some kind of magic. Uh, we're going to need some actual cobblestone to make some stone out of. We're also going to need more charcoal. Although we did just burn a bunch out here. We'll go find whatever cobblestone we can and chuck it in to cook. Pull that up. <clears throat> sort and get us some stone. All right. We've got 30 more cobble, which will give us more wood. But we've got more wood as well. We've got more stone as well. All right. So we're going to split this. Half of it's going to get burnt. The other half is going to start getting converted. Every time I do that, I think I'm getting hurt. Alright, so we're going to need more stone. It's more living stone for now. Alright, next up is... Sorting out my storage, realistically, should be the next thing up, but... We need to work on small blood magic. She's over here. Like I, I honestly don't know how we're meant to make this. Because we can't make it without one thing. We can't make that one thing without other things. Well, this mod pack doesn't have a crucible, I don't think. Not the kind of crucible I need. Right. Lava Sigil requires a Lava Reagent, which requires Lava, which puts us back at square one. Right. We can't do that one because we don't have Lava to do it. We can't make this that way either. We don't have a way to superheat. Alright, um, we've got to try and find a way to make this happen. This seems to be the only way to make lava. <sighs> Nothing we can do is right. So we need to be able to do this to be able to do the lava bucket, but we need a lava bucket to be able to do this. Because we need a ritual diviner to be able to set this up. We've got the master ritual stone right here. We have no other ritual stone that I know of. Uh, we will search for them. Through all of our boxes. Because maybe if I can get some more ritual stones, we can do this. Maybe. But we do not seem to have any more ritual stones. Right. Then, how do we make ritual stones again? Right, so we need ritual stones. Which requires us to have reinforced slates and blank slates. Reinforced slates being the upgraded versions of blank slates. So we'll start converting these over. Make sure I don't accidentally suicide. Um, we're just going to have to dump something for a second. We can grab this so that it doesn't accidentally convert to the third form. That would be terrible. I know I shouldn't be doing that because we need those as well, but... <clears throat> oh, take that potato right. Alright. This is why I need to start doing my storage more efficiently. 
Right, so we'll chuck this into here for now. So we have that opened up. What's that? Right. Grab that out, chuck it into there. Move that up. Put this down. We've run out of blood in here already. <clears throat> Grab that out. So it takes, what, 2,000 for this? 5,000 for that. 5,000 for one of those. Fuck. Okay. So we need to find something that lets us do this a bit easier. Realistically, it'd be great if we could spawn some enemies in, but that's not an option. So we need to throw that right out the window. We'll chuck this in with the other books. Alright. You need more food. Which means we're going to have to stop scrapping everything. Oh, screw it. Chuck everything we're not going to be actually using. We'll take that away. Put this obsidian chest right here. Then we're going to run into here and grab whatever food we can. We cook everything we can to make it more efficient. We scrap everything we can't. And we'll make bread whenever we can. Right. So we can eat some more bread. We can collect berries. They're not as effective, but they'll something at least. Right. Can I? Cook these. We can make plant oil. Not terrible, I suppose. We can make other seeds. Flask of uprising. These are dumb. <laughs> Alright, so the berries realistically should be scrapped. We also collect up all of this living stone, a living rock, because we need, uh, yeah, we need it for that. We also need some lapis and one of each of the kinds of runes, so that's not going to be exactly easy. Block of mana seal is going to be a lot easier to do. All right, so that is going to be easier. Uh, we will chuck another lot of stone down so we can convert more. I can almost guarantee we will need more of this stuff. Grab these carrots. <coughs> Nothing. Alright. Come in here, do some more cutting. Terrible statement to be making, but it's an apt one, at the very least. Alright, we need to go grab our iron back, because I can't do anything in this without fucking up at least once. So, uh, take the bone so we can grow more potatoes quicker. Alright. We're also going to need more iron. We do not have enough means more than likely we will end up needing to expand out this room, because that's how we get iron, apparently. At the very least, that's how I get iron. Doubt that that's the way you're meant to, but it's working for me. So far. Oops. Alright. We break down that, we chuck the cactus into here. Cactus is apparently the most useful thing in this fucking game. Alright. Uh, we will 
quite a few more times. Sort of carrot. <clears throat> Do we have enough? Yes. Five. Oh, only four. Okay. That's still not terrible considering that was one load of alcohol. We can also start doing this. And in fact we'll start we'll start cooking more charcoal in here. Oops. We'll grow more potatoes so that we can do this quicker. Three more spuds is better than nothing, I suppose. Right. Actually, we only have one load of potatoes growing. So we'll take out more carrots and plant these potatoes. There's water underneath that, I'm pretty sure. Right. So we are almost out of the uh, the iron as well. So unless we can find more iron, we're going to need to go mine one. I need some iron nuggets. That will be helpful. Nothing in there or there. I have shovel, no ingot, no, okay, so we are going to have to start doing some more mining then, we'll just get that done now, alright, <clears throat> so we need to check for more lapis, we actually have plenty, so we'll chuck that into here instead of this. Oh, nice. Considerably more than I needed. Alright, so we can start smelting down more iron. Cooking up some more coal. We'll chuck this into the post. You know, any basic bit of cobblestone we've got, we'll chuck into the converting pit. Alright. Right. Uh, now we'll just break down those ingots. Sorry, those. Nuggets into ingots. We're going to need to fix our pick soon. Still burning at least. Right, um, we've got eight of these, we've got nine lap. We need a block of lapis for a few different conversions. We need it for this. Oh, we need four blocks of lapis for this actually. Three of which will go into here, the block of mana seal will also go into there. Also need a block of mana silk for this. Alright, so we'll go for this one first. Block of mana seal, we need five pieces of we can do that now actually. Not what I wanted. Alright, so we need five pieces of mana seal in this. Nifty. Uh what else was it? And a mana pearl. So we need to find one of our eyes of ender. Or well, ender pearls, not eyes of ender. Chuck it into here. Wait for that to fill up a little bit more, and then we're good to go. Okay, pumpkin. Why do we have pumpkin growing? Pumpkin is literally the most useless option right now. Get rid of those oak buttons. Collect this. Uh, and we'll drop those back into there. 
Yeah, it's fun though. Throw in this pumpkin as well. And grow another load of melon. Eat up. We've also got melon seeds that we can eat as well. Put everything we've already got in there in. Get rid of that. Right. Come on. Okay, so we're not quite ready to finish that one off yet. We will be soon though. Because that's two full stacks. Or two cubes. Blocks. Blocks. So we can burn off the blocks. Oops. I don't know if I got this enough. Now we have 6,000, which is enough to convert another one of these into the other thing. We can also drop a block of coal so that will get burnt. We'll convert one of these over to the other one. It only takes 2,000 points? What took five? Oh, we'll convert both of them then. The other conversion after this takes five, right. We can sew that in there now. Eat that. Convert this over into its mana version. Put that into there. But we need mana for this. Right. We're going to smash both of these out. Put this onto here now with all of these put in. It seems to be filling up. Yep, we can see it ticking along. When that's done, we can swap it out. We also need to make another one of those uh, mana sprayers, which is living wood. Oh, that's really easy to make, actually. We just need to get some more wood. Reminds me, I have some in the conversion pit. We'll knock out all of this living rock. Tuck in some living wood. We should be good to go. Sorry, some wood to become living wood. Should be good to go then. Knock out this stone as well. Ooh, nice. Right. That. And these go into here to make more of this. Sweet berries go in. Melon slices are basically the equivalent of sweet berries. So we'll get rid of that as well. Also, we grow more potatoes. Plant them. And then we'll wait on more potatoes. Take the pumpkin seed out. Potato in. That's not quite halfway there. It looks great though. Well, we need to just knock these out. Yeah, that's nice. Alright, so we can start knocking out this so we can use it to make another spreader. <clears throat> Which we need gold for as well, I believe it was. Gold and then some kind of petal. You can get the petal right now. Use an orange petal just because we have so many. So one of this, one of this. Secondary spreader. And then we'll put these right here. We may need to make another one of these flowers for it though. 
looks like this isn't exactly being connected. Where is my wand? Oh, right now. We're just going to finish refilling this. Heat up some more carrots. So close to being done. What was the next thing we needed after that? Big living rock. We need more. A lot of steel on this. End of brewery sand? Can we get blaze rods? Molten core is dropped by blazes. Alright, so we're going to need to find a way to get blazes to be able to finish this off. Which is unfortunate. We can work on getting this as well. I'm not sure exactly what it does, but we can work on using this. Weak blood shots. How does that sound familiar? We need for the mass roll. -up. Okay. There's not really anything we can make right now with it. <clears throat> okay. What does that mean? We need some living rock and wand. Wand, living rock. We have a lot of living rock at this point. Maybe I need to bind this to this. There we go. So we now have a rune of mana. And that also shows us how to get the other kinds of runes as well. For example, we're going to need runes of fire for this. But that's got to be us for the day. God, we look a bit ridiculous with all of the eyewear on. We hope you've enjoyed your time here today. If you have, don't forget to give us a like and a subscribe. Uh, and tell us which kind of Minecraft magic you prefer. Personally, I'm still a big fan of the Blood Older, but it is taking a lot longer now. But we will see you all next time. Same Fae time, same Fae place.